Greetings. Just wanted to check in with you guys. I'm uploading a video just because I've been focusing on Social Security for several years now. We're doing this COVID uh, situation where you used to mail everything, you used to be able to go to the Social Security office, and I am um, finding out obviously the Social Security offices are closed. I guess they are making appointments for special cases. But I had a case recently where I talked to the Appeals Council and uh, that's the stage after you have a live hearing and you lose and then you appeal it to the Appeals Council and then uh, basically I was trying to tell you that the sweet spot is you get so many days to add new evidence then if it talks about your problems before the hearing and then things that weren't at the hearing and then it, it, it kind of confirms that you're still having significant problems they're supposed to look at that new evidence if it's material and it relates back to the period you were claiming send it back to have another hearing if it uh, wasn't addressed. So basically I found out from the Appeals Council in Falls Church that they're not uh, opening the mail, at least this lady said. She said the best thing you could do is fax the information to me. So we sent a bunch of information for one of the cases that we have pending and we were counting on them to go through it. I wrote a letter, summary letter, laid out the evidence that supported a, a win on Social Security Disability and if I come to find out when I talked to her that she said they probably haven't reviewed the physical mail, the documents that I mailed in, and that to refax them to them or and or upload them. And so basically, uh, you just got to remember if you have a case and you're trying to find a lawyer, but in the meantime, getting the fax number, calling the Falls Church Appeals Council number, making sure you fax that new evidence in, within the time period and also too I had another video where I did it's pretty common and, and I, I have a um, some information on my other videos that you can ask for additional time and in this case they granted 25 extra days to send in more medical information which gives you a chance to even see a doctor before you um, run out of time and then basically they look at all the new evidence and then if you've gone to the doctor uh, since your hearing uh, where you had an ALJ hearing and you've lost that new evidence if it talks about how your condition uh, before the the new evidence was in in existence and was a problem and they go back and describe how it wasn't fully developed you can get a remand back to have a hearing which gives you an opportunity to present evidence and and possibly win so we wanted to make sure that everyone knows that faxing and uploading your documents are basically the only means right now to really get things done with Social Security where in the old days I get, get people to drop stuff off at the hearing office, drop stuff off at the local Social Security office, or mail things in. But it's really important that you know that um, you need to fax it and then you, you can still try to find an attorney and there's nothing keeping you from sending in new evidence. There's nothing keeping you from going to back to your doctor for some additional information uh, and additional testing. And that's the key. Get your doctor to test you. Orthopedic, neurological, blood, whatever it is, do some new testing post-hearing where you lost and then have the doctor talk about the new testing and then explain how your condition was bad and it's consistent and relevant to what's going on today and it goes back to the hearing and then the fact that it wasn't fully addressed by the judge in the decision and then ultimately a lawyer can help you write a letter if you hire one and then at the federal court level if you get all this new evidence in and the, the appeals council doesn't um, consider it doesn't give good reasons why they didn't consider the evidence you have a, a good chance of getting it remanded from the federal court level back to the hearing level and the, or a reversal where they would actually grant benefits. So at the theme of my federal court uh, appeal video is don't give up, but there's a really important part. You have to get that new evidence in after you lose at the hearing and then you have so many days when you get that denial, you have 60 days to appeal, you can send in the evidence and then you can ask for additional time and they just granted me 25 days additional time to in, add in more evidence. So that would give you 85 days plus 5 days, so 90 days to go back to the doctor, which in, during COVID, it's sadly, it's hard to get in to see a doctor. They need to physically examine you and test you, uh, order x-rays, get all that stuff lined up and done 
within the 90 days. But it has happened with a couple of my clients. The doctors have really tried to work people in as quickly as possible. And so there's televisits, but the problem with televisits is they're not physically examining you. They're not doing orthopedic testing. They're not making, they're not doing reflex. They're not doing uh, uh, neurological testing to check on numbness. So all the physical things that they usually rely upon to grant benefits, uh, you can't get done. So the best way to do is, is see if you can find someone who's seen people, physical therapist to get the information or a chiropractor even to get the information to your doctor who's willing to physically examine you and then give that information to your family doctor so that they can talk to you about it on a televisit and then after talking to you on the televisit they can uh, write a report summarizing the review of the physical findings, the testing and then their opinions about your ability to function. Sitting, standing, lifting, all the things that are important for social security disability. So I just wanted to do this short video, don't give up, but number one, fax or email, because mail isn't working right now, and I think most of you guys know that, but until uh, you have a, an attorney, you need to get this stuff filed so the attorney can help you. So everything needs to get filed, and if you can fax it in, great, and the uh, best way to do that is just, probably cheapest way to do it is buy a fax machine and, and hook it up to your internet, or uh, do it through your... Um, through like some service like Metrofax and there's a couple of services if you do so many don't do so many uh, you get free faxing for a month and then get all that stuff faxed in so thanks so much for for listening I hope you like and subscribe to my sh my video and if you've got a pending appeal the big important part is after you lose don't give up send in as much as you can go back to your doctor get as much medical information that addresses what the judge denied you for so that when you go to the federal judge level you can really show that the judge didn't do a careful examination of your problems and that it needs to be remanded or that you're so disabled and it's backed up by so much supporting and corroborating evidence that they should give you a reversal, grant you benefits, and start your check, back benefits and monthly checks. So thanks so much. If you have any questions, uh, you can call me or email me. Thanks.